Howdy folks, it's the Creepy Kentucky in here with you from Dead Pit Radio. Today we got a brand new one that came out recently from our good friends over at Kino Lorber. This is part of their Kino Lorber Studio Classics line and is one of my favorite underrated Canadian horror movies from 1981 directed by James Conway. It's the Boogans. Now, this one recently came out with a brand new 4K remaster. And there's two different editions. This one that I'm taking a look at today is the Blu-ray edition. And there is also a full-on 4K with the same transfer. Now, these are brand new 4K remasters from the original 35 millimeter negative. And by all accounts, from what I've seen here, this is the best that the Boogans has ever looked. I know that there's some other reviews out there that kind of say otherwise. To me, just straight up transfer-wise, fantastic with this one. Um, now, this is a movie that I had seen numerous times on IFC back in the day. I think it took a, quite a while to get an official DVD release. I know that there was a Blu-ray release from all the films a few years ago, which I also have. But it'd been quite a while since I had checked this movie out. And it's one that I remember really loving quite a bit. And I had to go back and take a look at this new edition from our good buddies at Kino. So we're going to take a look at the movie and then take a look at the contents within. All the special features and everything. The packaging, of course. There is no escape from the boogin. A group of four mine inspectors are hired to inspect this long abandoned mine to see if it could possibly be reopened. They're doing some blasting in the mine. They discover a pond on the inside of the mine that also uncovers numerous skeletons from miners from many years earlier when it was closed. And during that blasting, they don't realize that they have awakened the amphibious, carnivorous creatures, the Boogans. So that weekend, two of the guys and their girlfriends rent a house nearby for a weekend of fun and party and have some premarital sex. But very soon, the group will discover that they are not alone in the cabin. There has been an evil that is unleashed from the abandoned mine, and they are very hungry. The Boogans is definitely a lower budget picture from the early 80s. This was a Paramount movie. It's filmed extremely similar to My Bloody Valentine, the George Mahalka film from right around the same time in Canada. Uh, you could tell you know, they didn't have a whole lot of budget to work with. The monster itself, which I think is great, they don't really showcase it very much. I think the least you saw the monster, especially towards the end of the movie, when you finally do see it, it's better. Uh, they, you know, they didn't have a gigantic budget to work with on here. There's a really fun scene with a poodle and the boog one of the boogans chasing the, the poodle in a scene. It's almost like a... You know, the, the poodle is in place of like an attractive female in an 80s slasher movie. It's, it's a lot of fun. The movie is kind of slow early on. So if you want like crazy extreme gore and action and stuff like that, it doesn't happen right off in the Boogans. There are some familiar faces in the Boogans as well. Anne Marie Martin, who was in Prom Night, which I think was just a year earlier, and Rebecca Bailey from Silent Scream. So there were a ton of slasher slash horror movies in the early 80s, and lots of familiar faces spread across a lot of these movies. Very well made, though, and I think the tension building in this was really good. Uh, James Conway did a great job with what he had with this. I think it's beautifully made, beautifully filmed. And the transfer on this really does, in my opinion, pop. I think it's a great looking transfer. Now the 4K could be a little bit different than this Blu-ray edition. I'm not really sure. Um, there may have been some sort of issue with the 4K that there was not with the Blu-ray. But this particular Blu-ray edition here is fantastic. It's the best this movie has ever looked. And I really love the artwork. This is the original artwork here and slip cover. And you have that as well on the inside. This is the original poster art, I think. 
if you flip the cover over, it does have reversible artwork here. And I think this artwork is from like the VHS tape, which is fun as well. This is kind of almost like a early 90s cover, but I don't know when the VHS came out. So I like this one too, but yeah, the original poster art is on the slip. There is some special features on the Boogans as well. Included is an audio commentary by the director James Conway, writer David O'Malley, and actress Rebecca Balding. Moderated by film historian Jeff McKay. Another separate audio commentary by actor Jeff Harlan and film historian Howard S. Berger. William Munns, the man who made the Boogans featurettes. And a plethora of theatrical trailers. The Boogans is part of the Studio Classics collections from Kino. They do a great job. I love their stuff. They're one of my favorite companies. Great transfer here. This is out on 4K and on Blu-ray. Came out recently. Be sure to check it out and check us out. We are over at DeadPit.com. Give us a thumbs up. Off you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime. That dead pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a fuck. No, no. I want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, I need to do that. No, don't you yeah. dare do it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And click that bell. There's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at shop.deadpits.com. Dot com. Simply the best horror shirts on T Public. There are others, but they all suck. You can get some Dead Pit Radio shirts. You can get Last South on the left. The Hills Have Eyes. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, wait, you can't say Texas Chainsaw. All kinds of shirts, folks. You're gonna love them. Shop.deadpit.com. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. DeadPitOnPatreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on. In addition to the midweek shows, fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. DeadPitOnPatreon.com if you're interested. Tears start at only $1. We ain't